What up, what up, what up? Back at it again. I already know you're wondering why you can't see my pretty face right now. Don't worry, I'm still here. I'm just behind the camera this time. I'm giving you some special effects. First person. So that that way, you can see through my eyes what's happening on when I'm cooking up in the car. All right. First, you set the tempo. I do it for your 808 kick samples. Make it touch. Because if they don't touch, it's going to give you all these weird little pops and clicks like you're hearing. I'm gonna do it just like how I always do when I'm in the car because I don't have a real keyboard. Just find a uh, chord and play it, and then it goes piece by piece, so go like this. We slap it. Some of the arpeggio type of stuff in here for the uh, chorus. There's another sound in here I like. We scan it in just in case. Well, let me show you how to do arpeggio. If you don't know what an arpeggio is, Google it. That's all I'm going to tell you to do because it's something that any musician, no matter if you want to make beats, sing, Play a guitar, play a piano, blow a horn. You need to learn scales and arpeggios. Basically, a scale is the is the notes that work in a particular key of a song. In the music that we listen to here in America and in the Western part of the world in general, we have 12 notes. And out of those 12 notes, we use seven of them in a key. So we pick seven out of those 12 notes to use in a key. So that's what a scale is. It's those seven notes that we had decided work and sound good together when you play them in a key. So that's how that works. And then the arpeggio is three of those notes that you will play together to make a chord. Copy, copy, paste. Copy, 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 paste. All right, let's hear it. Let's see how that's going to sound. I'm going to use this for the hook. I don't like it. It's still not short enough. So I want like short and buzzy. So that sounds like a saw. So let me see for the camera. Right, let me see.
That's the bass shaking. Hold on, let me stop it. That was the bass that was shaking everything just now, so you know. All right, let me scan in on the screen here. Let me see. What we got to do is, you see, we got to find, I want like a little choir. It says, I got the big boy laptop. I should have a choir sound font that sounds pretty convincing. You know what I'm saying? I just take them back with this one. That's it for this week, people. Uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. And check out my album, please. I promise you, it's really, really good. And it was not made in the car. It was made in a million dollar studio. I promise you, it's fire. You won't be disappointed. Anyways, appreciate you guys rocking now. I hope you're enjoying the series still. I know I am. And with that, until next time, bye.